Okay, so some of you may have noticed that I removed some videos from YouTube. And to be honest, yeah, I, I really regretted having done so the moment I pushed that button. It, I mean, my heart sank, and I've been moping around for the past few days at the thought of having to readdress the same concepts in future uploads. I hate being redundant, but I do like being organized, and I am somewhat hopeful when I look at the future, because thinking back to the content of those videos, I do believe that I can address the same things in a format that will be more productive, in a format that will allow my words to better serve as a catalyst for education. And ultimately, that's why I'm here. Education. I mean, that, that's a pretty good summary of my mission statement. I am here to educate you and to be educated, and I hope that this won't be a battle, an argument over who is right and who is wrong so much as a debate, a mutual learning experience in which we come together and we cooperate to host an excavation to uncover not who is right and who is wrong, but what is true. Because I want to know what is true. I want to know the whole truth, not the relevant truth. This is why I can debate topics like personhood even though I do not think that personhood is a question that we need to ask in terms of whether or not abortion should be legal, since humanity should, in my opinion, suffice in determining whether or not we should have the protection of rights under law. And mind you, this is a different matter in terms of personal decision making, but under the law, I don't think that we should take personhood into account because it's too inconsistent. But this is the same argument I was presenting in the videos I removed, and it is an argument I will address in the future. For now, I want to stick to my mission statement. And again, I am here to educate and to be educated. I am here to use the Socratic method. I do not like lectures, and while I enjoy reading, I do not think that books are the best catalyst for education. I think that in a good philosophy class, the question is the curriculum. I find that the best, that the most economic, that the quickest, and most efficient way to learn is to discuss and to ask. And you have to go into it with an open mind. If you're here to argue about who is right and who is wrong, then really what you're doing is you're searching for evidence to prove that you are correct. And in doing so, you have a closed mind. And how can you expect the truth to slip into your mind if it's closed? You have to open your mind to the possibility that you are wrong. And not consider the individual, not consider yourself, and instead only follow what Socrates called the common master. The argument, the trail of reason, the chain of premise to conclusion by deduction. And you have to look at not who is right and who is wrong, because this is just going to bias you. Nobody wants to be wrong, and if you're arguing about who is right, and if you're trying to prove that you are right, you are trying to make somebody wrong, and people are going to resist this. This is not productive, it is not useful, and ultimately, the only thing it accomplishes is engendering ill feelings and uh, a sense of hostility. It doesn't accomplish anything, and I don't want to do that. If there is something in your life that is making you feel negatively, it is my personal philosophical opinion that you should remove that something from your life, or remove your life from that something, depending on the circumstances. I mean, Obviously, if you have a person over here, I'm not telling you to go kill that individual because they're making you miserable, but in that circumstance, I would suggest getting away from that person if it is really that big of an issue. So, again, when I talk, I'm not trying to say you're wrong. And in fact, I'm very open-minded to the possibility that I am wrong. I have read essays about abortion that have made me change my mind on various issues from time to time. I have been pro-choice, I have been pro-life, and at this moment I am pro-choice in the instances of rape because of Judith Jarvis Thompson's essay in defense of abortion. And I will discuss this essay in future videos as well. I think my next video will probably be a response to Mr. Redeem's last, uh, uh, last response to one of my uploads. So, I am going to address that specifically, but after that I do intend to tackle the question of whether or not we should ask personhood in terms of whether or not abortion should be legal, 
in terms of whether or not the fetus is a person, in terms of what a person is, and all of these other arguments. I am going to address the Andrea Yates type arguments, the life unworthy of life type arguments. I am going to discuss all of these things. And if you want to hear someone discussing these things with the hope not of proving that they are right, but of discovering what is true, then I encourage you to watch my videos because this is what I intend to provide. And of course, this is subject to human error. I am not perfect and I am not without my own impulses and without my own emotional distractions. Ultimately, I do hope to be a Socrates. Ultimately, I do hope to follow the common master, to follow the argument, to use good deductive logic to uncover what is true. And if I get off on a tangent where instead of pursuing the truth, I am simply trying to defend my position, I ask that you tell me and that you correct me so that I can see this error and that I can change it in myself. My mission statement is this. I am here to enlighten and to be enlightened using the Socratic method. So thank you for watching my video and I hope that you subscribe to my channel and that we can have a healthy, productive, and educational dialogue about the issue of abortion and perhaps in the distant future about other issues in the political spectrum. And thank you.